Hi, it's Lee McLean, and I just wanted to tell you ladies a little bit about how I use Ed Helper. Um, and I know you guys all have an account, but you're not really sure how it's going to help you with your teaching. The biggest thing that I use Ed Helper for is to take their stories and any of their passages and use that for um, the things that I want to read in class. So here we are at edhelper.com, and this is a story... Um, called centipedes and so if you look over here you would click on where it says quickly print PDF and um, when you click on that what comes open is the PDF version of the story and so here's Ed Helper's story and if you scroll down there's the questions that go with it now what you can do in your class connect is just application share this if you want to read the story answer the questions and then you're done um, and that's fine but I feel that the, um, the layout and just the design is um, not very conducive to beginner readers because um, of the spacing and the font. So what I do is I highlight all the text and I copy and paste it into a PowerPoint and I space it all out and, and I just totally reformat the design of it. And so this is what we come up with if I take us over to the PowerPoint. So I've made a little title page and so we can spend you know, a couple minutes predicting what it's going to be about or brainstorming to come up with, you know, just basically to activate schema. What do we already know about centipedes? What do you think a centipede is just based on the pictures? And, um, and then you'll see that the text is much more spaced out, um, just a totally different font and it's easier to read. And, and what I would do is that this would all be converted into a whiteboard, of course. So if a kiddo is having trouble reading, I could use a pen or whatever to help them chunk the words. And it's just real fun because I've added my own pictures that I found just using Google Images. And the students um, really like this one um, about centipedes because it's fantastically gross. <laughs> so another one I just want to share with you real quick, um, an extra special Valentine. These were, you know, just all copy and pasted from Ed Helper, but I reformatted the text so that it was um, easier to look at, easier to read, and just the white space is totally different. I added just different pictures to help with, with comprehension. And um, this, you know, this story was a nice one and read that on Valentine's Day. Another one I'll show you that I just took right off of that helper, um, Swimmer's Ear. You know, and there's different levels. They have, they have them um, leveled for you. It'll say like 3.2 or um, 4.5, the different flesh Kincaid um reading levels. And so basically I really just used Ed Helper to um, to grab stories to read because that's all we're working on. So if I go back to the website here, I'll show you another one down here. This one's called The Sun that I found. And um, you just click on quickly print reading comprehension. You can print, you know, click on these other ones too because it'll have some options for word puzzles and things like that, proofreading activities, things that you would really like to use. I don't use them that much. Um, but when you do click on the print reading comprehension, this is what comes up. So you see um, all these paragraphs, and then down here are all these questions. And again, this format is fine. You can application share it and use this with your students. Um, but what I think um, is just a little bit more beneficial is to make your own PowerPoint out of it. So here's the title page, and we spend some time activating schema and, and just doing all those different reading strategies. And what I've done is just copied and pasted the text into a different format. And then I even make some of the text into a speech bubble to make it seem like it's like a comic strip. So this text is really just from Ed Helper. I grabbed some pictures off the internet. Obviously, this is not a, a real image. It's just an artist's picture showing how small Earth is compared to the sun. We talked a lot about the size of the planets and compared to the size of the sun. And I even added in some of my own stuff here. Um, you know, memory tricks on how to remember the planets in order. Um, this wasn't from Ed Helper, but I added it in and it was real nice. And then we talked about um, a video. I web pushed a video and I showed them beforehand to keep their eye on Earth the whole time to see the different sizes of the planets. And um, this was to show them how to click on the play button. So it just becomes a whole lesson all built off of this Ed Helper. Again, this is all Ed Helper text. These images are all from Google Images. And um, this one I didn't copy and paste the questions from Ed Helper on, but some of them I do. And um, I even have another one. This one's called Sleepyhead. And um, so this is how I use Ed Helper. I just use it to help me 
um, find stories and passages to read. Ed Helper also has a lot of really fun crossword puzzles and vocabulary and other things that you can use, um, but this is how I use it, so hopefully that's been a little helpful to you.